to the distinguished officials from government, our local chief executives and other local government officials, partners from the private sector, non-government organizations, and to all participants of today's activity, a pleasant morning. I would like to congratulate the DNR, particularly the Forest Management Bureau, for organizing this event. The theme for today's forum is very timely and relevant as the government prioritizes sustainable investments towards a healthy and resilient Philippines. The NEDA recognizes the important role of the forestry sector in our socioeconomic development. In the 1960s, the forestry sector was regarded as one of the major contributors to our economy with an average share of 22% to agriculture, fisheries, and forestry gross value added in real terms. However, in recent years, we observed that the sector's economic contribution has significantly declined. From 2000 to 2020, the average share of forestry sector to the AFF GVA is only at 0.01% valued at 2.1 billion pesos. This performance indicates that we are not able to protect, sustain, and make the most out of our once abundant forest resources. This is largely driven by illegal and indiscriminate logging practices, shifting cultivation, unfavorable policy environment, weak law enforcement, and slow pace of rehabilitation efforts. This, in turn, made the sector less attractive to investors and constrained their ability to sustainably harness the economic potential of our natural capital. In view of this, the government is committed to strengthen our policies and interventions to boost investment in the sector and ensure that we will be able to sustainably use our forest resources, especially as we pursue nature-based and ecosystem-based solutions for the country's green recovery from the current pandemic. In our updated Philippine Development Plan 2017-2022, we prioritize accelerating and improving the reforestation and rehabilitation for denuded and degraded forest lands, focusing on critical watersheds. Consequently, this will ensure uninterrupted supply of water to meet the country's demand for domestic, agricultural, health and sanitation, and industrial uses, among others, forest ecosystem services. Complementing this is our strategy to completely delineate our production and protection forests to identify the areas that will be made available for development and private sector investments. This is intended to intensify agroforestry and establish more commercial forest plantations to help boost productivity and increase our forestry gross value added by 2 to 3% annually. In the process, we can employ more people in forestry related activities and enterprises. We are indeed glad that the ENR came up with the Forest Investment Roadmap which translates the broad priority development strategies mentioned earlier into specific actions to make the sector more economically attractive and competitive. In particular, the roadmap puts in place enabling mechanisms for the government, the private sector, and even civil society to work together and co-manage our forests and natural capital while creating sustainable business and investment opportunities and providing livelihood for upland communities. More specifically, the roadmap lays down strategic components that will help us harmonize and address the restrictive, conflicting and overlapping forestry investment regulations, have high value timber from fast growing native species through more community and family-based agroforestry farms and allow more private companies and individuals to explore and develop diversified forest commodities, including environmentally friendly products that are essential under the new normal. 
such as the personal protective equipments and face masks made from natural fabrics. We are grateful to see the active support and participation of all stakeholders in this endeavor, which signifies our collective commitment to transition to more inclusive and sustainable growth for the sector. We hope that the support of all stakeholders will remain strong and even be further intensified as we implement the roadmap. This is just one of the many milestones we need to put in place towards reaching our sustainable development goals and ambition natin 2040 of a matatag, strongly rooted, maginhawa, comfortable, at panatag na buhay, secure life for all Filipinos by 2040. As we move towards the implementation of this roadmap, we encourage everyone to continue knowledge sharing, adopt innovative technologies and models that will help optimize the benefits we derive from the forestry sector. Indeed, the success of this initiative lies in our joint effort and we look forward to continued collaboration with all the stakeholders in the coming years. Salamat at muli, isang makalikasang umaga sa inyong lahat.